guys and here today on the Rusty Glove Box what we're going to do today is we're going to work more on the rainwater collection system and uh, pretty much got the tank all ready and uh, got the top back on it. I'll show you that in a little bit but we're going to put the rain gutters on the back side of the shop. I had to do a little bit of prep work before I could hang the gutters so uh, let's go check this out. Well here's the tank after I have the uh, valve on it and got the uh, lid back on the tank. tank and all that. I'm gonna have a, a leaf trap and also a little sediment trap that's gonna trap any dirt that might accumulate in the gutters uh, between rains. Well, the shop is 50 foot long and uh, what I did is I hung uh, pressure treated two befores uh, down the length of the of the uh, tin and I screwed it from the top side um, also another little deal to help stiffen it up I put some uh, blocking on the back side so it would uh, keep any twisting of that and uh, it looks like it's pretty solid so I'll give you a shot of that too. Well it's just a little simple blocking and what I did I put it in there and uh, it's up against the building just kind of as a brace and uh, keeps that two before from twisting. I have it screwed from the top side of the tin into the two before. These are the type of gutter brackets that I used. It's just a single screw application. This end hooks into that edge. The other laps over the back side of the gutter and the uh, screw will screw into that two before uh, that I installed earlier. And my 10 foot sections of gutter, you put uh, one hanger every two feet so per section that's five hangers per section well here's my gutter system i have it installed i know we kind of taken a big jump but uh i just wanted to show you that i've got it up and uh, there's a lot of other websites that show you how to install the gutters and you could even get a professional to come and do your seamless gutters, but this is kind of a do-it-yourself project for me. Well, this is how I collect my water out of the gutter system. And that little uh, funnel-shaped object there at the top, that has a screen, it's called a leaf eater. Uh, it will separate some of the bigger debris uh, from getting into the tank. Uh, it'll, you know, of course, block leaves, acorns, little sticks, things like that. And where that T is in the system, this is called a uh, first drain. And any dirt that uh, does get past that screen is supposed to drop down inside of this tube and I've got a cap at the bottom that uh, you can remove the cap and uh, drain all the dirt out an interesting feature of uh, this first drain system it has a check ball in it and this little ball when the tube fills up with uh, water or dirt, this little ball will rise up the tube and there is a seat up there that this ball will seal against and uh, as water is rushing into the tank, it will not create a siphon effect because that ball is, is blocking uh, the seat area. This is just a little diagram that I uh, dug through the instructions and 
and found and this kind of shows how that uh, first flush works with the uh, ball that rides up against the seat in that T. Well this is what that uh, little water trap looks like, how it catches the leaves up there and I have a leaf up there. So that looks pretty good. And it'll get a good workout because I've got leaves on the roof. Well guys, this is a uh, project complete and everything uh, that I did from hanging the gutters to uh, prepping the tank for plumbing and all that, uh, it wasn't that hard. It was a lot of steps in between. But anyway, I really enjoyed doing it. It was something I wanted to do for a pretty good while. And uh, so we're gonna see how much water we can collect and store and uh, see if that kind of helps us keep everything green a little longer during the hot summer months. So as always, I do appreciate y'all coming by the shop today. This is Rusty Glove Box, and I'm out of here.